hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is chris b and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please consider clicking the subscribe button and also ringing the notification bell to get notified anytime i make a new video upload in today's video we'll be working on a custom checkbox so this check type of check checkbox is being used by companies like amazon um, google pinterest and other notable apps so over here you can select based on uh, your interest and then it will be saved. It can be collected and saved inside the application for any purpose. So you can select and deselect based on your preference. So let's get into today's build. So first we'll We'll, have, we'll grab two, two things, one from online and then one from one of our projects. So I searched on Google Fonts. When you go to fonts.google.com and you type in the search box Montserrat, you will see you just have to select it and it bring you to this particular page. So what I when I came, I scrolled down and selected the light 300. That's what the font that I'll be using for this particular build. So you select at import over here and then copy the code from here. And then we will save it, paste it into the CSS part of our application. So let me put the browser side by side with the text editor. So first you create one index.html or any you can name your file differently and I'll create another one a style the CSS I'll hit control B to hide the panel and over here I'll first paste in my CSS variables and then I'll add the font as well. And please take note, the font has to be, the at import only works at the very top of your CSS file. If you have it in any place aside that it wouldn't work. So let's get into the CSS, lay out the basic structure, hit, and then change the title custom video sorry checkbox let me make it custom select checkbox then this reasonable so what we we'll do here is to also link the CSS file to the app or the project so there it is style the CSS so let me go ahead and then right click and preview with live server if you don't have this but when you right click your file and you don't see this particular option you simply click this particular icon over here that's the extensions and search for live server so you click to install this particular live server and you have that particular option anytime you right click on the HTML file So the first thing that I'll do is to remove the pattern, default pattern and margin from the HTML document. So we say pattern zero, margin zero. I'll go ahead and apply a background color to the document. So I'll say background. And because I'm using a variable, I'll say VAR update. This is the app theme that we defined in the CSS variable. So right now when I hit save, there it is. So let me go ahead and put in the HTML structure for what we are going to do. So first we will have uh, the white background for our container. I'll name it as app paper. 
and inside it will have an each break and say select preferred interest interest then from there we'll have the um, checkbox list let me make this an aside for differentiation sake Go ahead and add the individual label. So I'll say um, label over here. See label dot. So, um, check item. And inside the check item, I want to have a span. And sorry, a span. Remove this particular property or attribute. So we'll say um, artificial intelligence. That's one. So when any time that you save it to automatically refresh, and then I'll have the input tag which will be a checkbox and I'll give all the uh, checkbox and a uh, property or an attribute which is the name the name sorry I'll give all the checkboxes one name so this will be um, interest and then I'll remove this particular ID so yeah let me duplicate this a number of times you just select paste i'll just keep it like this for a while say gaming sorry um what else what else again um netflix okay so let me go ahead and style the paper, which is the white background. But first, I'll put all the items in the middle of the page. To do that, I'll have to say display grid and place items center. And also, I'll apply a height of 100 VH, which will be the full height of the document so i will be in the middle so going ahead to apply the styles for the white paper so we'll give it a weight of let's say 400 pixels and a pattern of 20 pixels from 30 pixels from top to bottom and 20 um, let me make it 15 pixels from left to right then I'll apply a background color of white, which is the variable that we've declared here. White back. I'll see body radius set it to five pixels, and I'll apply uh, a cut shadow. So I'll see box shadow, and I'll see VAR. So there we have it. And I'll center, like to center everything inside this particular item so that it will be like this. And because we've already imported the font that we want to use, let's go ahead and apply it to the entire body. So we we'll say font family is Mont Serrat. And it's four back fonts will be sans serif. So there we have it. Then we will come to the 
checklist and say display flex this will allow us to put the our items side by side and we'll set the font size to be 12 pixels I think 12 pixels is too small for it so we'll be okay then I'll set a gap that will be the space in between the labels so now to the check item which will be the label itself I'll say the check items <laughs> input so I'm going to hide the input by default so display none and there it goes next thing that I want to start will be the span so I'll say padding should be um, 7 pixels 14 pixels I'll set a border of 1 pixels do I have okay one pixel solid there we have it and then I'll make it rounded so I'll use border radius to do that so I'll set it to a right huge number so yeah let me add a pattern to the top of the check top and bottom so from the top to down it should also make this 20 pixels and then from left to right it should be there for spacing sake so the next thing is the span yeah so we've been able to do this so if we comment the the input you realize anytime we click on the level it checks the um, checkbox so let's go ahead and hide it again what we are going to do next is this we will say if the checkbox or the input with the type of checkbox inside the check item is checked then you should apply this particular property to the span so I the style the this particular property to the span so let's go ahead and save it you realize the gaming and Netflix has been checked let's change the font sorry the cursor from what it is to a pointer So there we have it. Let me add a few more. So we can see um we can also say um peacock or something. Let me fix this particular error. So what I'm going to do over here in the checkbox list, that is the container that houses everything. So when we collapse it, you realize it's gone. So I'm going to allow it to wrap to the next line. So now that we have this one there, let's fix this particular issue so what i would simply do is set the display of the span to be table and then that will be it i think this is no so there we have it you can use this particular item or component in any of your builds and if you like this particular tutorial or have any other tutorial suggestions please leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching if you like this content please subscribe to my youtube channel for more
Peace out.